Hey guys, I'm Natasha from the System.io team. And in this online training, I'm going to show you how to use System to launch and run your online business. In this first video, we're going to run through the different features that are available on our platform. Firstly, you'll see the main dashboard as soon as you log into your account. You'll be able to view any new leads, any new sales, as well as live updates about your business. Then, if you look under dashboard, you'll be able to view an affiliate dashboard as well. Now, if you're an affiliate marketer or you promote other people's products, all of the details of those sales will be presented here. Underneath affiliate dashboard, we have a marketplace. This is where you can list your own offers to be promoted by other affiliate marketers, as well as view any offers that are available to promote. It's actually really cool. Next, we have contacts. This is where you can add and manage your contacts as well as create tags for your contacts. Now, remember guys, in the system, we use tags to segment our audience. It is so much easier to do and a ton more effective. After that, you'll see funnels. Now, this is where you can build and manage your sales funnels. These are the pages you create for your business, including sales pages, order pages, upsell pages, you name it. And there are loads and loads of templates for you to choose from to make it an easy process. After that, we have emails where you can create and manage any emails, including newsletters, as well as automatic campaigns that you can send to your audience. There's also detailed statistics based on your email marketing that you can view here. Blogs is where you can create and manage your blog posts and content marketing. Automations includes rules and workflows, which will automate your entire business, making it so much easier to run. Finally, in product and sales, we've got physical products. Remember, if you'd create an electronic product, you actually create it right on the payment page. I'll show you in a later video. Then there are also coupons where you can create coupon codes, orders to manage those physical products, transactions, which tracks any payments that have gone through, subscriptions, with Stripe and PayPal, as well as affiliate invoices that help you manage your affiliates. Then here you'll be able to view and create courses as well as course bundles, where you can, if you'd like, create four different courses, put them together in a bundle and sell them for a discounted price. Students is where you can manage anyone who has purchased your courses, as well as give them access to these courses, whether they've bought it and for free, you can do both. And then finally, my affiliate program is where you can manage and run your own affiliate program. How awesome is that, guys? Now, there are lots of different features here, and it's really easy to use. We get great feedback all the time. If you are struggling at any point, you can get help by clicking on the help button here. If you have any questions, you can easily contact our support system through this little chat button here. Let's go to the next video where I'm going to show you how to manage your contacts within System.io. The first feature of System.io is the ability to grow your email list. So once someone has opted into your contact list, their contact will appear here. You can add them manually too. All you need to do is create contact and then input the information. You can also add custom fields, but the thing that you should do right at the start is actually create tags. Now, remember guys, in System, we don't use lists. We use tags to help us segment our contacts. It's actually much easier than running and managing multiple lists. So let's create a new tag together. Simply select add new tag. And for example, say that you've got an opt-in form on your blog. You can call this blog leads select save and there you go there is your tag as easy as that it's so simple to do now let's go back to contacts on the side here there are plenty of filters that you can use to search through and find different contacts you can also run maintenance actions add tags remove tags and subscribe contacts to your email campaigns let's create a new contact together Simply create contact, and then you're going to fill in all of the things you need to. For example, testing, testing, one, two, three, four could be the email address. You can fill in all of their details. And here you can even select a tag to tag that contact with. 
click on save, and there you have it. Your contact is now on your list. You can also import your contacts from any other email responder you have used. Simply select import contacts and follow the instructions. Now, remember, when you're importing contacts, you can only import the contacts that have given you permission to send them emails. No email addresses that you have bought. If there are any discrepancies, we will see it and your account might get blocked. So it's a good idea to make sure that you clean up your list before you import it. To import your contacts, you just follow these instructions. You select here, choose the CSV file with your contacts, and then you can even select a campaign or a tag to tag those contacts with. How easy is that, guys? So simple. It's very easy and very practical to use this contact functionality. You can import your contacts or create forms so that people can opt into your list. And you can do it with or without double opt-in confirmation. That's up to you. In the next video, I'll show you how to create sales funnels, how to build your email list, and how to sell your products with System.io. After managing your contacts, the main feature on System.io is building entire sales funnels in just a few clicks. To do this, select Funnels on your dashboard, and this is where any funnels that you have created will appear. You can filter them based on whether they're active or inactive, as well as search any of the terms you've used in their name. Let's create one together. I'm going to call this a test funnel. Now, there are four different funnel templates for you to choose from, where you can build your email list, sell your products or services, a custom one which helps you start from zero so there are no pages, as well as running evergreen webinars to automate your business. I'm going to select custom for today. Then here, this is where you can choose any currency that you would like to use for your funnel. There are plenty of options to choose from, so there's definitely one here that will suit you. I'm going to stick to the US dollar for today. Simply click on create, and there you go. Your funnel has been successfully created. It's really that easy. Now, as you can see, there are no funnel steps here yet, except for an inactive page. Let's go ahead and create a step together. Simply click on create, and name your page. I'm going to call this a squeeze page, and then I'm going to use the squeeze page as the type of page. Click save, and there you go, squeeze page created. This little icon over here means that you haven't chosen a template yet. As you can see, guys, there seriously are loads and loads of templates for you to choose from, and you can start with nothing as well if that's what you prefer. But for today, I'm going to go ahead and select this one. Let's take a look at the dashboard for these funnel steps. Over here, this is the step configuration where you can change the name as well as look at the URL path and then get a very handy link to this page. Next, we have automation rules where you can set up automations to make this whole process so much easier. AB tests is where you can test different versions of that page. Stats, this gives you detailed statistics on all of the pages in your funnel, including page views, the opt-in conversion rate, as well as the conversion rate for your sales and revenue. Sales does the same, but it focuses just on how many products have been sold. And then finally, deadline settings. This is a newer feature where you can create a deadline funnel. So if you have a time-limited offer, you can actually set it up so that as soon as that time-limited offer is over, people are automatically redirected to your inactive page so that they can't take advantage of that offer anymore. It's a great way to push your prospects to convert sooner. Now let's go ahead and add another page. I'm going to call this one a thank you page, and then I'm going to select opt in thank you page as the type. Click on save. And there you go. The second page has been created. Now this little triangle again means that you need to select a template. So let's go ahead and select this one. As you can see, guys, you're free to change the order of your steps to whatever you need it to be. But let's take a look at this inactive page. It's a really, really useful page to have. This inactive page is really convenient if you have a time limited offer. So when time runs out, you can deactivate the entire funnel and all of your leads will be redirected to this inactive page. And then you can add an opt in form here so that you can use this inactive page to still gather leads, especially useful if you've just had a big launch with your affiliates. Click Save Changes, 
and exit. Remember to save guys, it's really important. If you select here, you'll be able to change the sales funnel settings. You can change the name of the funnel as well as change the funnel domain if you have any others registered. Here is the currency. And then once you register your Stripe and PayPal account, you'll be able to toggle between the payment methods here. Click on save. If you would like to add a custom domain to your profile, simply select your profile, go to settings and follow the instructions from there. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a sales funnel specifically built to help you grow your email list. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a sales funnel that is specifically designed to help you grow your email list. We're going to go ahead and create a new funnel together. So select funnels and then click on create. This time we're going to call it a list building funnel and then we're going to select the option build an audience. However, you don't actually need to select this template. You can select any of the templates and then edit it later. I'm going to stick to using the US dollar for my currency and I'm going to click on create. And there you go. Our list building funnel has been created. For the squeeze page, let's go ahead and select a template. I'm going to choose, oh, I'm going to choose this one. It's a really good one. And then let's select a template for the thank you page as well. I like this one. And done. Now let's go back to the squeeze page. You want to set it up so that when someone opts into this squeeze page, they're automatically tagged, right? So that you don't have to go in and do it manually. So let's go ahead and check out the automation rules and create one together. Select add rule. And then we're going to select funnel form subscribed. Now these triggers are available because of the page that you're working on. Obviously, if you create your automation in automations, there will be far more options. I'll show you a bit more about that in a later video. But for now, select funnel step form subscribed. Then we need to add an action to this trigger. And we're going to say add a tag. And then we're going to choose the tag we created earlier, blog leads. Simply select save rule and there you go. Your automation step has been successfully created on this page. It's as easy as that. Now you can also go and view this rule if you select here, but for now, let's stick to this. You can also create another step like an opt-in form that could appear on top of your blog. So let's go ahead and select create step. And this one is going to be opt-in form and let's say we're going to choose between an inline form or a pop-up form for today i'm going to choose an inline form select save and there you go there's another bunch of great templates here i'm going to choose this one and there you go it's all done we are going to go ahead and edit this page and i'm going to show you how easy it is to actually edit all of the elements on this page System uses a really fantastic drag and drop editor on their pages and on their emails, which makes building your pages and your emails so, so simple. As you can see, you simply select whatever you would like, whichever element you want to edit. You can send all the text on it if you choose. You can change the color of certain elements if that's what you would like. So turn this from being red to a yellow button you can also add elements quite simply by dragging and dropping them to wherever you'd like to place them. On System, you can upload your files and there is no limit to how many files that you can upload. Really, we give you all the space you need. But for now, you can just select that and there you go. You can add your image in whenever you want to. It's a placeholder here. When you are editing a page, we recommend that you use columns. The reason for this is because it keeps all of the elements on your page really well set out so that none of them are in the way and that they're perfectly spaced. As you can see, you can drag and drop these elements into the different places on this and it looks really, really tidy. An awesome way to make sure that your design is effective. Another thing that's important to consider is whether these elements are visible and optimized for both desktop and mobile. That means if somebody is viewing this page on a desktop computer or on their mobile phone, they'll be able to see all of these elements. You can also choose to make some of the elements invisible to them, depending on what device they're using. Select Save Changes, and there you go. Your opt-in form has been created. That's how easy it is to build a simple sales funnel to increase your email list, guys. Seriously. 
just a few clicks, just a few minutes. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to sell products and make money by creating a sales funnel. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sales funnel to make money and help you sell your products. It's actually really easy. Go into funnels and then we're going to create another funnel together. Simply click create and this time we're going to call it sales funnel. And then we're going to select sell a product or service. But remember, guys, you can choose any one of these funnel templates and edit it after the fact. I'm going to stick with the US dollar as my currency. Click on create. And there you go. Now you'll see that the default for this funnel template is an order form and a thank you page. Now let's select an order form template. There we go. I quite like this one. And then let's quickly select one for the thank you page as well. And this one's really cool because it actually gives you a recap of your order. Back to the order form though. So guys, an order form, this is pretty much a payment page where people who are visiting your website can enter their payment details and pay you. You can also connect your payment gateways, Stripe or PayPal, by selecting here. Another way to do this is to go into your profile, select settings and then go into payment gateways there as well. What we're going to actually do before we do anything else is create a sales page. So let's go ahead and call it sales page and then select sales page from the page type. Click on save. We're going to put that sales page right at the beginning of our funnel and let's select a template. There we go. This one's quite good. We want to connect this sales page to the order form. So we're going to go into the editor and ensure that it automatically goes to the next page when any of your customers or potential customers click on those CTAs. You can fill in all kinds of information here. It's a really, really detailed page. But then as you can see, there are some places where your leads can click through. You want to select the button and then you're going to get them to go to the next step URL. Got to do this for all the buttons, guys. There are two more. Let's make sure they go to the right place. And there we go. All done. Click on save changes. It's really important. And then we're going to exit. Now that we've edited, let's take a look at what this page will look like for any of your viewers. They'll read about your offer, go through all of the information you've given them. And then maybe they decide that they'd like to opt in to your fantastic offer. We'll select click here and there you go. They'll be automatically redirected to your order form. It's as easy as that. Another powerful thing that we suggest you do with your funnels is add upsells. So let's go ahead and create an upsell step. We're going to call this upsell one and choose upsell as the page type. And there we go. Let's choose a template for the upsell. Select this one and we're going to move it ahead of that thank you page. Another thing that we suggest you do is add downsells as well. Select create step. We're going to call this one downsell. I'm going to choose a downsell from the page type. Click on save and choose a template. Move that up ahead of your thank you page. And then let's go through what will happen as soon as viewers are entering into this funnel. They'll see your sales page, decide to opt in to your offer, be redirected to the order form where they can fill in all their details for purchase. Then as soon as they have finished that, they'll be given and presented with the first upsell where you can offer them a higher ticket offer. Now, if for example, that lead or customer says no to your upsell, they'll be presented with a downsell, which is perhaps a cheaper version or a subscription version of your high ticket offer. And then after all that, they'll be redirected to your thank you page. You can create as many upsells and downsells as you would like. In just a few minutes and clicks, we've created an entire sales funnel. I'm going to show you one last thing, digital products on the system.io platform. Let's go ahead and look at this order form. 
As you can see over here, we have something called resources. System has found that managing your digital products through resources is so much easier to do. The reason for this is because there are automations built into this page that will make your life so much easier. For example, if someone asks for a refund for one of your products, they will have their access to that electronic product automatically removed just because it's built into the page like this. So guys, resources are any digital products that your customers get access to. It could be a course or a course bundle, which is several courses put together for a discounted price, a tag, or even a physical product. You can also choose the price plans. This works for subscriptions too and products like membership sites and your online courses. It's really convenient and easy. So let's go ahead and select a membership course. You can then over here choose any course that you've created, for example, the real estate course, and you can give them full access or drip that content. Here you can choose if there is a payout delay for your affiliates if you're promoting this offer through them as well. Another thing we suggest you do is add tags to all of your customers as soon as they purchase your products. This is so that if you promote that offer and that product to your email list again, you can tag those customers who've already opted in. Guys, it's really important. Always tag your customers. This way you'll send the right emails to the right people at the right time and make more money. And that's all guys for building sales funnels with System. We've seen how to manage contacts and sales funnels. I'm going to show you how to send and manage emails on System.io. And of course, you want to send emails and make use of email marketing. So on System, there are two main functionalities under emails, newsletters and campaigns. Let's go to newsletters. A newsletter is an email that you send manually to your contact list. You can choose which tags to include and exclude and edit all kinds of details. Let's go ahead and create one together. Say that this is perhaps an email about a new offer for September. You can change your sender name to whatever your name is and then change your sender email address. I'm going to use Natasha at pinto.com. Now we do have a visual editor for your emails with two fantastic templates, but we suggest that you use the classic editor. Remember guys, it's been proven that plain text emails convert better because they don't look like a commercial email. Select create. And there you go. Your email has just been started. Here is where you can put in any text you would like. Hey there, I would like to dot 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 whatever you want to write over here you can add attachments here you can choose to include tags and over here you can exclude whichever tags you like and there are a list of available substitutes to make your email extremely personalized and more likely to convert over here is a really useful tool you have the option to exclude people who've subscribed less than however many days you would like this is a great idea if you've got an automated email campaign already running that you send to new leads. You can select however many days you want it to be. You can save and send a test email or save and schedule this newsletter. So let's go ahead and click on that. And there you go. Your email is saved and scheduled. Now let's go take a look at our campaigns. Now, as you can see, I haven't got any campaigns, so let's create one together. Let's say that this campaign is for a five day coaching course. Over here, you can add a description as well. Click save campaign and there you go. To edit this campaign, simply select it and then we can go ahead and add an email to this campaign. The sender name is going to be the same as the others. I'm going to stick to using my email address and then perhaps this is the first step on an automated email sequence that you want to offer a product on. I'm going to select the classic editor again and click create. Here you can add any text you would like. For example, here is your freebie. If you're going to give them a free bit of content first, you can add any attachments you like, save and send a test email, simply save the email or save and publish it. It's really up to you. What is important to note is that here in your sender email address, you cannot use Gmail or Yahoo email addresses. This is because of the DMARC policy, 
where they do not allow you to send from those addresses because it's not from their server. It's also really bad for your deliverability. So we strongly suggest that you purchase your own domain name. They're available online for like seven to 10 bucks a year. And then you can create a mailbox and create an email address with your domain name to seriously increase those conversions. Let's click on save for this email. And then let's go ahead and take a look at this last option on emails, statistics. This email dashboard gives you detailed analytics on all of the emails that you've sent and created. It's very important. You can see the exact number of emails that have been sent, the percentage of how many of those have been opened, the percentage of spam reports for each opened email, now these spam reports mean that someone has manually gone and selected report this mail as spam. And then the average percentage of bounced emails, which has to do with poor deliverability. Remember, there are two main features in this email functionality, newsletters, which are manual and campaigns, which are automated emails. Now I have some extremely important advice for you. When you get started, don't make it complicated for yourself. Create an email campaign. Write down an outline. The first email could be hello. The second email could be some content. The third, you could respond to an objection. The fourth, etc. Plan that outline. You can make it last for five days or even up to two weeks. But remember, don't make it too long because it's very hard to create then and even more difficult to maintain. Then you can spend an afternoon or two writing those emails and setting them up. As soon as that's done, you are good to go. Remember guys, done is better than perfect. Once it's set up, this email campaign will work on autopilot for years. And you can always go back and edit it to improve it. The point is you've got to start as soon as possible. Don't delay. Another thing that we advise you to do is send email newsletters regularly. Set up a schedule and stick to it, whether it is one email weekly, bi-weekly or even monthly. Don't stop sending emails for a month or more and then try to come back. People will have forgotten you. I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to show you how to use the STEM to automate your business. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate your business using system.io. There are two main features in automation. We have rules and workflows. Let's start with rules. Automation rules are the simplest feature to automate your business. You can filter them based on their trigger type and action type, as well as whether they are active or not. As you can see, my list of rules is empty, so we're going to go ahead and create one together. Select add a rule, and then you are going to create a trigger, so an event that occurs. As you can see, the triggers available are tags added and removed, forms subscribed to, campaigns completed, webinar registration, enrollment in courses and course bundles, new sales, email links being clicked, and a page visited. Let's go with a new sale for this one. You can select which funnel you would like this new sale to come from, and then which funnel step you would like this to come from. Then you're going to create an action. They can be subscribing or unsubscribing from a campaign, adding or removing a tag, sending emails, to specific email addresses as well, course enrollment and webhooks. I'm going to choose to add someone to a campaign. And this is the campaign I'm going to subscribe them to. Now, what's really awesome is that you can create multiple actions for a single trigger. So another one is you could possibly add a tag to your contact. And for example, this one might be product a customer. For now, let's just stick to blog leads, the one that we've already created. Another action that you should consider adding to this kind of a trigger is to send an email to a specific email address. This is particularly useful if you have multiple members of your sales team who need to be notified whenever a sale is made. Let's go ahead and look at workflows. Select workflows. As you can see, there are no automations here yet. So let's go ahead and create one together. Simply click create, give your workflow a name, and there you go. It's ready and waiting for you to edit. Select the workflow you want to go into, and then you can build from here using this beautiful visual editor, which makes workflows, which are sometimes a complicated process, far easier to understand. You use them to automate your business and how contacts are managed inside it. Let's create our first trigger. 
let's say that a funnel form has been subscribed and we're going to use it from the squeeze page of our test funnel. Click on create and there you go. Next, what you can do is add an action, delay or decision. So perhaps a few days after that funnel form has been subscribed, you can get the next step to start. We want to delay so that you do not inundate your audience members. Click create and there you go. You'll wait three days before the next thing happens. And now you can create an action. For example, you could apply a tag, remove a tag, enroll them in a course, or even subscribe them to a campaign. So let's select subscribe them to a campaign and there's the campaign we're going to subscribe them to. Finally, what you can do here is create a decision. You have many different options based on contact fields, tags, email clicked and created and contact state. Let's say that we're going to opt for a tag. And this contact could be tagged with blog leads. The other decision could be that they decide not to be tagged with blog leads. And then two different things will happen based on those conditions. Let's click create. And there we have our option. Now, based on this decision, you can create another action. If they've opted into that tag, you can then unsubscribe them from that campaign because it could mean that they've opted into your course. Click on create and there you go. It really is as easy as that. Now let's go take a look at our automation rules again. I want to show you something quite important. Let us add a rule. Remember the trigger from before. It could be funnel step form subscribed from the sales funnel, from the thank you page. Then you can create something called a webhook. Sending webhooks is a technical but very powerful thing that you can do. This gives you the ability to communicate with another application like Zapier. You can use webhooks information to integrate to other applications. So you could configure Zapier to communicate with another application like a CRM or even Twilio so that you can send automatic SMSs to your customers as soon as they've purchased. The possibilities really are infinite here. And our Zapier integration is fully operational. If you ever need any support, you can always check out our Facebook group and ask your question there. Our community is very, very helpful. You can also contact our support team through the chat space here. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use System.io to create membership sites and sell online courses. Now, selling online courses is actually really profitable. But it used to be a difficult process. You'd have to struggle with WordPress plugins and try to connect your content. But now tools like Stripe and PayPal have made it so much easier. So to do this, all you need to do is go to products and sales and then simply click on courses. As you can see, I haven't got a course here yet. So let's go ahead and create one together. Add a new course. I'm going to call this one the real estate course and you can add a whole bunch of details here including the description, changing the domain, changing the theme and any of the font that you'd like but for now let's leave these default settings here. Click on save. As you can see this page is empty but that's because I haven't added any modules. We have no curriculum set up yet so let's add a module together. I'm going to call this one module one, click on save and there you go. First module created as easy as that. Now you can go ahead and add lectures to each of these modules. Type in the name of this one. Let's call this chapter one, the foundations. Now you can choose to delay this content. So for example, release a different lecture after seven days. And then there are two page templates to choose from. I'm going to select this one and click on save. And there you go. Our first lecture has been created. Now, the first thing I like to do with these pages is actually move the heading up to the top. Lecture one, how I became a millionaire. Here you can add your videos. It's very easy. Now, it's also a really good idea to make sure that your content is super catered to your audience. So here, right under the video, you can add a list of resources. And then if you'd like, you can choose to include them in a bulleted list. And there we go. The cool thing about this is our drag and drop editor makes it super easy. You can go ahead and change the text color, the icon color. You can change the icons themselves if that's what you choose. See, look, here we go. I'm going to make my icons orange. And then here you can add all of the resources your students will need. 
select save changes and then exit and there's your first lecture ready to go now a super easy feature here is that you can duplicate this lecture which means that instead of going ahead and setting up a whole second lecture you can merely use this one so let's go ahead and edit on the inside so this one instead of being lecture one it's going to be lecture two how i became a millionaire this one can be how you can become a millionaire you can be Come a millionaire there we go and then you can obviously change the video you've included and change the resources simply click on save and there we go now let us edit the name of this one so instead of saying chapter one it'll be chapter two we'll call it the next step and we can remove that thing that says copy there and there you have it. Your second lecture has been created. How easy is that? You can choose to drip this content here or what you can do is on the payment page itself. So when you connect this to your sales funnel, you can give two options, one for the whole course, all in one or, and one for dripped content. And that means anyone who opts for the dripped content will have the content dripped after seven days. And anyone who opts for the full course will have access to all of the lectures. It's really that easy, guys. Let's go ahead and add another module. So we're going to call this one module two. Click on save. And there we go. Module two is ready. Now, just like I copied that earlier lecture, I'm going to copy it again. I'm going to open module two. I'm going to just drag that copy there, which means that I can change this to an entirely different name to make sure that it all fits and flows. It's really that simple, guys. You can add as many modules as you like, as many chapters, so as many lectures as you like. It really is up to you. In just a few clicks, we have literally created your online course. It's that simple. So to sell access to these lectures, you go to your payment page, you add it as a resource with access to this membership site, and you can decide if it's dripped or full, and you can actually give people free access as well. That's how awesome system.io is. And that's it, guys, for online courses. Remember, if you need help, you can always go to our Facebook group, ask your question there. Our community is full of super helpful people. They'll be thrilled to assist you. You can also ask directly Go ahead and contact our support team via this chat space in the corner. Good luck, take care, and here's to your success, guys.